John is Southwest Sales Administrative Leader. He's a 16-year Allstate veteran. He is also an Iraq War veteran, and while he promised me if I said this out loud, it wouldn't make him popular, he roots for the Carolina Panthers, so. <laughs> With that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to <laughs> do that to you, John. You, I guess you were right, anyway. Yes, please say a few words. Thank you, Margaret, and thank you all for the warm welcome. <laughs> uh, the Atlantic has been a great partner to Allstate since 2009, and at this point, I would consider us to be old friends, but after this intro, I'm not so sure anymore, Margaret, so thank you. Uh, um, on behalf of Allstate, welcome, and I'd like to thank everyone for spending part of their morning with us today. Today, we're going to celebrate the innovators uh, and the change makers that are responsible for helping to renew Phoenix. As she made mention just earlier about you know higher levels of government in Washington and recent things that have happened in the you know uh, with with the election, I'd like to say this: I think that true change starts right here. It starts in your heart. It starts with engaging others. It's the people directly across from you, sitting next to you, perhaps in your chair, and and those thoughts and ideas that you take to your community. It's a change that we make here that's going to make a difference. It's going to drive the change necessary, and it'll serve as an inspiration to others at much higher levels. Uh, perhaps we could clear the path to the things that we need to have done, so, so thank you for that. Um, one of the goals today is to share inspiring stories of individuals making communities stronger and helping people live the good life every day. In fact, the definition of renewal is to restore, refresh, and make new again. Uh, that is, in fact, what my industry and my company Allstate does. Uh, we fix things. Uh, before we started, we were having coffee, making some new friends, and, and, and someone said, well, I'm kind of interested, John. What's the connection with Allstate and the Atlantic and the new renewal series and the awards? I said, well, when you think about what happens in our industry when, when disaster strikes, whether there's a house fire or there's an accident on the road, uh, we fix it. That's our job, is to make people complete. Let's renew and refresh. And that's a lot about what this is about today. So in a much broader way, um, you all from your industry are doing bigger and better things and this is something that we all want to be a part of at Allstate as well. Um, it's about driving change here in Phoenix and the neighborhoods across America. The spirit of innovation and driving positive change has been part of our cultural DNA. Um, we are a network, when I say we, Allstate, we're a network of more than 10,000 small businesses. Most people recognize us as being a Fortune 100 brand but we are only a Fortune 100 brand because of the 10,000 independent contractors that we have. And inside each of those distribution points, we have several people that are employed by them. They're the people that answer the phones, that serve our customers, that reach out to others. They bring in new uh, policyholders to our business. They, they answer those calls when the disaster takes place and they help them through that process. That's really an amazing thing. And we're very grateful for those innovators they find ways to find customers and interact with others in the communities that we as a corporation try to keep up with. They're incredibly resilient uh, through times of change and difficult times as Phoenix has seen in the past, but they keep coming back and we're extremely proud. They are in fact our greatest asset. It's the entrepreneurs and our agency owners. So I would like to recognize two agency owners that are here this morning, Edward Vasquez and Julie Jakubek. Would you please stand? I'll tell you about Edward first. Um, Edward purchased an agency about halfway through this year. Um, this agency was one that he helped build uh, starting four years ago from scratch. No easy task. Think about how many people are in the room today that perhaps started a business from scratch and what we're trying to encourage others to do moving forward. Um, and not just starting a business, but to engage different types of communities and different niches to reach out to others and let them know that our brand sees them as valuable members of the community. Um, Edward is a proud supporter of the LGBT community and a member of the Phoenix Gay Chamber. So thank you for all that you do. We're proud of you. And Julie Jakubek, she is a 20-year agent, multiple award winner both inside and outside of all state. Uh, in 2014, she purchased and rehabbed a mid-century modern building. So practice what you preach, right? So here she was, she said, not only do I represent a great brand, and I serve a lot of customers, and trust me, that's a very big number that she represents. 
um, she said, I'm going to take some of what my earnings are and I'm going to reinvest it back into this community and revitalize the structure and she's got a beautiful office. You should come by and see it sometime. Uh, then she's also a member of the Arizona Council on Economic Education. Seems suitable for today's topic as well, right? Uh, she's been doing that since 2012. Uh, she is also a longtime Greater uh, Phoenix and Tempe Chamber member and ambassador. As you can see, the Renewal Awards and the Renewal Project are a great fit for Allstate, and we are a force for good in the communities we serve. At this point, I would like to introduce my colleague, Stacy Drumtra. She's going to introduce three incredible individuals and talk about what they're doing in their community today. Please welcome Stacy. Thank you, John. Well, as you've heard this morning, um, the Renewal Project is about celebrating and spotlighting local innovators who are making change at the local level to renew and strengthen communities, and it's a wonderful journey to be on. I'd like to introduce you this morning to Aaron, Marcus, and Stephanie, just a few of the inspiring individuals that we've connected with throughout this renewal journey. They truly are a force for good. While you might not find them yet on the cover of magazines and the front page of the local paper, I say yet because we're working on it, these stories need to be told, um, you are guaranteed to find them working hard, working tirelessly in their community, planting the seeds of hope that lead to renewal and a stronger, more vibrant community. So with that, I invite you to watch the video and meet Aaron, Marcus, and Stephanie. Thanks. Participation, I think, can come in a lot of different ways. It can be about voting, it can be about protesting, it can be about like standing up for what's right, and it can also just be about saying like, you know what, I think something should be different here and I'm gonna be the one who leads that change. What does it look like to serve so many years inside a prison where all you can do is dream? And then you come home and what you find is that everything that you dreamt about now is blocked by huge, huge barriers. In Alexandria, there's a lot of families in need. And, um, and women, I believe, are the backbone of those families. And if they don't have help and if they don't have the ability to get into the workforce and make a living, um, you know, their families are gonna suffer. I think that the way that people are able to make change in their communities um, is pretty slow and it's really hard and it's under the radar. Being a citizen in this country is about stepping up and doing what you need to do. The Flick Shop School of Business, what we want to do is we want to be able to help those guys who come home from prison. We want to help them navigate through what that blockade looks like. And so then we can help them either jump over it or jump around it or communicate with those that allow those walls of Jericho to easily tumble down. Together We Bake, the recipe is job training, personal development, empowerment, and um, support and that helps women get back on their feet with some new skills and confidence and a desire to uh, live a positive life. IOB uh, finds people who have great ideas uh, for their neighborhoods and we work with them to make them great citizen leaders. I think a lot of people are inspired by other leaders on IOB. They might see a mom who started a project to put up crosswalk flags near a dangerous intersection and get inspired by that and try something out like that in their own neighborhood. One of my favorite students, Robert, Robert was an amazing man. He was an incredible man. He served uh, 19 years in prison. Uh, he came home and he enrolled in one of our classes. I want to help elevate the stories of the Roberts because these are the success paths that you're going to see of the guys coming out of my class. We want people to know that change is possible and, you know, small things can actually have a really big impact. My name is Erin Barnes. Stephanie Wright. Marcus Bullock. And renewal starts in Brooklyn. Renewal starts in Alexandria. Renewal starts here in Washington, D.C. 